Hello folks, students and professionals, let's welcome back another important session, which is very, very important. Those people who are actually trying jobs on SAP, SDGST and MMGST. Okay, what is the topic today? Let's read out and let's try to concentrate on that quickly. Learn things before your real-time GST interview. OD and creation in SAP GST or S4 HANA. Hey, what is this ODN? Till now, we struggle to learn SAP SD a lot, and you're talking about new term called ODN. ODN means official document numbering. Okay, so we have a billing document number, we have accounting document number. Why we require this ODN? Thousand dollars question, not even hundred dollars. Because because of this, certain times you will be caught in your GST interviews if you said I have more experience I'm very good in GST knowing about tax determination is one thing and knowing about FI and MM integration is one thing learning about outside of uh, system in real time for GST what you require what is this official document numbering in simple in simple terms if you discuss about that like for example you would like to post your billing document value to government. Why should I post? How do you do the returns actually for your GST? There is one form called GSTR one, two, three, like that, you know, some forms will be there. GSTR three is for outbound, remember SD consultants, otherwise you will be in trouble. Okay, whenever interview are asked actually. So to push the values to GST official side for returns, you will have a certain date will be there. These kind of things we have already discussed, but still I am just uh, wanted to give additional information for you, okay? So before that, so like, you know, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe my courses. This is like, you know, 101 hours on SAP ST sales and distribution. This is SAP S4 HANA simple uh, logistics business partner concepts before getting into the real time sometimes you might be allotted to as for on a project learn these basics from here and apart from that see this course what are the course structure i'm doing like you know it is exactly helpful almost near to real time to walk on your standard in perfect manner okay anyhow so getting master to write functional specification this is uh, the course actually if you're not at introduced to real time you try this course and apart from that i have one beautiful course on idocs with five scenarios this also you can give a try okay never worried about ratings and uh, pools will have their paradise don't worry rate yourself and work yourself and get job yourself never worried about others Okay, so all these are the different courses you have. If you want, really want to do, you can subscribe. And this is a channel where I have 500 plus videos. If you really want it, you can give it a try. Okay, so let's try to check into the ODN. This we cannot able to configure, but wherever it is possible, I can show you what could be the reason. Okay, so we have actually, when it comes to actual topic, we have six steps need to perform for, uh, for ODN need to generate. Okay, where exactly ODN will be there. Let me show you all these are the different steps. Let me go to the below slide. Okay. So now if you see all these are the GST nodes you have to impl implement to get uh, official document numbering to get generate on your invoice. Where it should be generated? It will come as either your accounting document or else VF0 to billing document. You can see there is one field called reference. There you can able to see this. What I am telling is how many is asking ODN don't put the blank and you tell them these are the six steps needs to be get implemented so that it will come automatically there is nothing to worry actually okay so let's try to get on to the steps actually first document assignment for billing whichever is possible I will show you because my system is not configured for GST but still uh, I'll try to give my best. Uh, at least I can show you some two to three settings. So let's go to BOFA. This is, you already aware of this. This is like, suppose if my standard billing document type is F2, then obviously you should have to assign document type. This is the first setting, important setting. Otherwise, so when you don't know how to transfer the values, uh, like, you know, how FI will recognize 
intro fico interface for hd actually this is actually integration setting someone is asking what is integration you remember this this is the tip actually you can tell this also so with uh, this accounting document uh, the link is for billing document to this apart from your accounting determination this is how you have to explain and give the conference to your interviewer okay now let's get into the topic for second document class okay so now see this uh this is for document class. If you look at here in document class, so let me try to go back to the, uh, probably all these are SM30 maintenance, but I might have or might not have. I'm not sure actually. Let me try to check. So let's try to see, check this one. This, oh, actually. So now you have to take your country here. And after that, you have to maintain your billing document. For example, why you have to have maintained. This is not document type by, by the way, my friends, this is document class you have to define and you have to, this is document class. How the technical fl flow will go. So document class will be assigned to number range group. Actually number range group holding the number indirectly that is that it is speaking from respect to tables okay this is how the flow will goes and this is for your document class assignment to your document type. what are the billing document type to you have assigned what are the mm document you mm side you know document type you have assigned that you have to pick it here if you look at here f2 for rb and gf2 whereas we have defined yf2 we have to assign it and this is here like, you know, G or else, you know, five, six categories will be there. How your uh, uh, official document need to be generated for that. If you go back, the T code is this one, G underscore one IG underscore V underscore P zero T double zero three underscore I. When you implement whatever the GST notes or how specified, you can able to get all these for all these are SM30 maintenance. This is SM30 maintenance. This is SM30 maintenance. And uh, this one is for uh, creating number ranges SNRO. You know that, right? So, and this is for again your SM30 maintenance. So, if you come here, billing type you take. If you are outbound, F2 you take. Or else, uh, if it is inbound, uh, you take something. So, here what happens, uh, like, you know, this is accounting document type for, you know, FT, it is RV and GGST, RV, it is there. Slide I have taken from uh, Google, actually. You can able to see. So you can able to assign, you can able to assign your document type versus accounting document type versus document class. This is very, very important. So that means you're telling for this billing document and values need to be posted, which document type, and uh, you are also telling to the document class. Okay, the document class, now it is holding everything, FD do, uh, uh, SD document type or MM document type and uh, uh, FI accounting document and you're connecting to the class, that class we are going to assign to your number group or number range. Okay, so this is the number group, this is just uh, six digits, you can define it, you can able to define, for example, you have N number, I mean, unique number ranges. Uh, for of course it will have for uh, like you know your credit memo generated or invoice generated or down payment generated you would like to use different reference numbers by that you know if you see the billing document you can able to use in, easily get identified what exactly this uh, document type okay either table level or else being a consultant or an end user you create number ranges debit memo and credit memo customer invoice you just create it and let's try to assign that group here, that group to the company called business place. I already explained you. Don't ask me again. Business place. Business place is available in your cross application configuration. Okay. If you are not familiar with the GST, if you are watching this video, just type in my channel. Once you subscribe, you will get all this GST around six parts. You will get it. Okay. And I'm trying to add whichever I know. So why am Specifically talking about GST, I'm telling you, my friend, it's it's a journey. It's uh, different from other uh, countries. MWST is there. It is tax has this much scope. That's what you can uh, able to understand by learning Indian GST. So that you know, suppose if you are working for Brazil, I haven't worked, but for example, if you are working for any Argentina, their tax system is different, or US, then you 
need not get in that fear you know in index then you know mwst then you can attempt other thing also the only thing is that you know the learning attitude develops confidence to attempt new things actually okay so this is company code and business place and document class and date of course prefix the number range for example in previous we have seen st right starting number for example in i can give number and suffix also this okay so this st is coming right this is prefix actually somewhere it might be defined here it is defined and this is you are giving prefix and this is the specific number range what you have defined all these settings that's it so only you have to remember for this what you have to do it document class need to define okay and uh, document class is linking with what your billing document type and accounting document type for billing document what you are assigning your accounting document type where it is supposed your billing document and accounting document where you are linking document class for document class another and what you are linking your number range group number range group what is holding number range so this is how but if you ask me technically this is the linkage for document class it will generate the numbers by the code actually your web code okay so never say never okay so if you if someone ask you in a gst interview learn this it is very very important otherwise they confirm that with red stamp you are i don't want to say that word okay don't lose any opportunity it's recession you must have to you must have concentration see i'm doing youtube videos uh, so if i'm holding that much interest and you are alone how much you can learn spend your time spend your energies for learning mm, so what should i say i wish you all the best jai bharat please subscribe my youtube and udemy channels thank you so much have a great day wish you all the best